Hi, my name is Christina. In this video, I'm going to be discussing divorce in the United States and the TV show that I had picked to talk about divorce is the show called Two and a Half Men. Two and a Half Men is about a man named Alan who recently got kicked out of his house by his soon-to-be ex-wife, Judith, and he is forced to move in with his brother, Charlie, and Alan also has a son named Jake who is about 10 years old. The reason why I chose this show is because the first season goes through Alan's divorce with his ex. I believe the show portrays the negative side of divorce, such as court, custody, their finances, their house, their belongings, like what goes with who. Um, I know for me, like, when my parents divorced, like, this was very similar, except for my parents didn't go to court. My parents actually worked things out outside of court, like, they decided on a schedule for my sister and I, and unfortunately for Alan and Judith, they ended up going to court, and everything ended up ruling in Judith's favor, like, Judith got their house, Alan was forced to pay alimony to her, because Alan is a chiropractor and he made decent money. And Judith, I believe, was a stay-at-home mom. It, the show really didn't focus too much on Judith. The show mainly focused on Alan's struggles as a single parent going through the divorce process while living with his brother, Charlie. And Charlie also lived in California. And I'm not sure if California is different than how New York is when it comes to divorce. Um, I know every divorce is different. As I mentioned with my parents, their divorce was basically outside of court, except for when they decided like assets and stuff. They did argue with a couple things. Um, I know I mentioned like every divorce is different. I will say this, uh, my daughter's father also had divorced parents except for they get along very well they actually work together which i don't know i don't know for me i don't think i could ever work with an ex um i do believe social media plays a huge factor in why the divorce rate is so high i believe divorce was different back in the day i believe people didn't get divorced as often as they do today due to women being a stay-at-home mom they didn't really have their own income and the men were breadwinners so marriages lasted as long as they did due to that or due to their love social media didn't play a huge role back then as it does now and that's why I believe the divorce rate is so high due to social media, due to apps like Bumble, Tinder, Hinge. I'm not sure if there's others, but that's what I believe. And unfortunately, I don't see the divorce rate getting better. And yeah, that's my take on divorce.